when you think about engineering consulting, what comes to mind are big projects or project designs, like the, the, the detailed engineering designs of a railway, of, uh, of, of a roads, of, of uh, rites of passage, of perhaps ports and that types of things. But we actually, we don't participate too much in that. And we come in a, a phase that's a bit before that, in the planning part, where we would design if or when to build, let's say, a bus corridor, with which areas to build it in, um, perhaps a master planning for the federal government, for the municipal government, to see what should they prioritize. And given the priority, not only that, but perhaps how exactly should, let's say, a functional design or pre-project, how should it be going through the city? And not so much as a detailed design, but in functional and conceptual terms. And once we have that, we also take into consideration the operational efficiency of that which will be, let's say, conceded or perhaps uh, run by a third party or an investor. So when we think about our uh, engineering consultings, we're always dealing with concessions of infrastructure, concessions of services, in our case, transportation services, and also a client, which would be the government, if in case he chooses not to concede that. But um, when, you, when you take that into dimension, especially transportation, and you have a transportation service associated with it, for instance, a mass transit system, you have the infrastructure which will have to be built, but there's the service itself which will also have to be appropriately planned. And what we do is we, we come into design what would be a decent way to conceive this infrastructure, but not entering the detail of the engineering designs, and the demand forecasting and operational plan for the service that will be executed, which is what the population will sense on a day-to-day -day development. So that's something that, we're, that we developed. So it would be a pre-phase, like in a superficial um, part of the general broad development of what would be engineering consulting. And with that, we have some differences. When usually, when you put technicians together, each one usually takes a look at his particular area of expertise and development. But when we look at something as big as something that will develop, that will impact the city or citywide project, there are many considerations to take into account. For instance, how the government will take on this process, how the project itself will be within the many different aspects of the government, how mobility will be impacted, not only from the project itself, but from what it is reconstructing or reordering. And not only that, but how the service will be. So it's a holistic approach to this. And for you to be successful, you need to take a bigger step inside to, to, to step in the government's shoes and the population's shoes and to that we have a different approach. Not only pertaining to the conceptual design but also entering what would be perhaps the financial aspects and financial modeling of the project so as to see that you make a feasible project and with that uh, which is usually taken into different steps we incorporate it into an interactive process of scenario generations. So if we develop a mass transit system, where the mass transit system is to be, we'll have financial constraints that are being taken into consideration from the go. And when we design, let's say, a, a, a financial uh, transportation service with so many buses and such operational demand and such operational uh, service or offer, again, we'll take that into consideration to what type of potential revenue this will have to generate if that is in, is in the same uh, uh, level of comparison to what the uh, ticketing revenue is going to be. If not, where can you cut the system? Where can you optimize it? How can you phase it out into phase one or phase two? These considerations, which are generally only taken by a, a second phase in, in, a, in a specific consulting endeavor, and then sometimes you have to scrap the project and review it. This is something we take into consideration on the go from the project.